go out and get you this. Okay, go out and get you this. Did you hear me? I said go out and get you this. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, guys. I be Renee, and we got a review of today. Of course, I went to my favorite of City and Beauty. And he's in Black Owned Beauty Supply Store. If you didn't try them yet, like, what are you waiting for? What what are we doing? Are we not supporting our black businesses? Yes, we are. Yes, in 2018, we are, it says. Today, we are reviewing the Bomb Collection Edge Control and Goo. The Goo is for a extreme hold, zero flexibility, and sweat resistant. I didn't notice that last time, but it is sweat resistant. Just in case you do your hair and you feel like doing sauna zumba or something. Firm holding gel, paste, perfect for wigs, extensions, and natural hair. <laughs> Okay. Next, edge control. Getting the bomb look. It even has three like little drop downs. Day one. For a stronghold that lasts all day, apply a small amount to edges, smooth them with your fingers or a clean hairbrush. For a stronghold, add more and smooth in. Day two, wet your fingers and smooth it in. A little goes a long way. Day three, clean the area with a damp cloth and reapply to edges and smooth in. There's a hair on me. What do we think about these products, okay? What I'm gonna say is watch the tutorial, okay? And I'll be right back. First, what I'm gonna do is start off by selecting where I want my part at. And I think I'm gonna do my part on this side just because my baby hairs on this side act way more controlled over here. Like I have more control of my baby hairs on this side. My hair is freshly washed. I just have a leave-in conditioner for this product. I noticed that you do need your hair to be really moisturized. So now what I wanna do is kind of section it because I want this to be super sleek. So I'm gonna kind of pin up the front so that I can work with the back first. So I just have this section back here that I'm gonna try to smooth down first. So I'm just gonna take my balm goo and apply it to the roots of the back of my head. This stuff is super thick. The gooeyest <laughs> of gels that I've ever used. I'm just gonna try to part in between and stick some of that product in there. I'm gonna take my brush and brush it down. I'm gonna take my um, dimmer brush and kind of brush out the rest of my hair. And now I'm gonna take the rest of this down, some more goo and kind of shape it the way I want to. Okay, so for the top part, I am gonna use my brush first. To kind of brush it down. Now, not that I need any, but you know, we're trying to secure that bag. I'm gonna put just a little bit more right here and here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my brush and start to bring it back into a ponytail. I'm trying to make it as smooth as possible. Now that I have it kind of where I want it, I'm going to um, add some oil sheen to keep it moisturized and shiny and healthy looking. Now I'm going to take my hair tie, grab all that hair, and put it in a very low ponytail. Now that that's done, we'll deal with the ponytail later. I'm gonna go ahead and move these edges with their edge control. A clear gel. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, or some sort of candy. Like it smells really good. Now I have this softer brush and I'm gonna use that to kind of brush out some baby hair. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, a little dab on the parts I just pulled out. The edge control dries really fast. Like I'm, I'm noticing I'm not able to manipulate this as much. Now that that's pretty much done, you can leave it like this which I don't mind. Or you could like comb out your ponytail and bite it and then just kind of let it be free in the morning. And that's how I will kind of keep my curls together. But, so this is what we're looking like. Nice sleek ponytail for the gods. <laughs> and then you would just tie this down at night or whatever. Or like I usually do it right now. Go ahead and tie it and then when I get done with whatever I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, in the morning, then I'll be good to go. And this hold is probably gonna last forever in a day, you know what I'm saying? Like, forever. 
Forever, forever. <laughs> forever. And we're back. So, overall thoughts on this product. This goo. Um, it works, okay? This is a good goo. However, you no know, quantity is better than quality, but the quantity of this is just not enough for me. Okay, if I haven't already, I will apply the clip of me already using this to do a wash and go and then me using it now. I'm not sure how much is left in here, but it's just, it takes a lot. Okay, especially for a wash and go, which I would not recommend doing only because you have to use a lot of products to get what you want. For wigs and stuff like that where hair is not naturally as thick, then I think this is fine. But for everyday wash and go, this should not for you boo okay unless you have super thin hair and this is not the vibe what you want to use it for is stuff like this okay styles where you need your hair to be slicked back and work perfectly for that styles where you need braids you want to lock in them crochets you know what i'm saying perfect for that real quick because it's just popped in my y'all remember crochets crochets back in the day not like the crochet they do now like where you hook up a, a braid but crochet crochet back in the day crochet do people still do that can you still get the crochet hair? Like, I don't, do y'all know what I'm talking about? The little strands that you would just loop through a braid, tie it, and it'd be done with it. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you open this, if not, then you don't know what I'm talking about, but, but it's fine. A protective style, this is good for that. Nothing else, in my opinion, which may not mean gentle to you. I mean, it might. You hear. So, my opinion, this, this edge control is a bad. Okay, it's called bomb for a reason, and I thoroughly agree, it is bomb. You need to get this edge control, okay sis? You ain't gotta worry about nothing. You don't have to worry about nothing, okay? Your edges is gonna be on fire, okay, when you do this. The only thing is you have to work quickly because this dries down really, really, really fast to where you can't really move with it. And add some water to whatever area, make it move the way you want to. But this is good not just for your edges, but when you're doing um, the crochet type situations. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> The crochet hairstyles you're doing your box braids and all of that stuff this would be good for curly haired girls who need to keep their hair inside of a braid or inside of a twist or whatever I think this would really work um, as opposed to using a gel or something like that this is gonna be really really good for that so would I recommend this hell yeah I would hell yeah I would that is it for the tutorial on how I got this look using the um, collection hair goo and edge control. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.